Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky for me in here. I haven't finished my groove room yet. But, uh, this is my tomato plant and my one and only tomato. But I do have some more blossoms coming on down in through there. I went ahead and put in more soil so I could let it root out some more. And I had one basil, so I put it in here. What I need to tell you in short is uh, when I had the eliminator that I had used, well, I was supposed to come back and do it 30 days later. And I didn't, so of course they came back with a vengeance, but I caught it early. And uh, this is my cayenne. And it doesn't look so bad. It lost some of its leaves, but I bathed these things for three days straight and then watched them for another two. And it did lose some of its leaves. I'm not going to manicure it while I'm standing here. But that's the whole thing. You have to do it 30 days later. They look like praying mantis, only they're really, really small and microscopic. But you want to drop the leaf. The growers that I was going to show it to didn't want it anywhere near their stuff, which I can't blame them. And then I think this is my hot banana. So it didn't do so badly. My habanero has never come back. But look at my bell pepper. All the lights are off in here, so it's easier to see. But I have little blooms. And my onions are doing okay. And this is, I hope that the fan doesn't affect this too much. I have some cilantro. I have a little bit of chives. A little bit of jalapeno. And one little long cilantro. No, that's my cilantro right there. This is my um, parsley. And then here, I forget what this one is. But anyway, it's the jalapenos that got hit the hardest by this mite for some reason. Um, so that's pretty much all I have in here. And then I'll go show you the rest of my garden. It's not doing so badly for everything it's been through. It's so dark without the lights on. But uh, this is so I can give you my best pictures. See, I planted some potatoes with their little onion. These are the potatoes. So that's going to be interesting. And I added some fennel. And that's my jungle flower vine. And those are my jalapenos. And you know I'm awfully excited about that. So I didn't stack them. I didn't really think that unless they were outside in full sun, you'd have to keep turning them. I have to keep turning them anyway. But I didn't think they would get the sun that they needed. Plus, the other tower had a problem, and there's an onion in there with each of them. So I wasn't so sure. I'm not so sure what's going on with my can, but everything got hit again. And those are all onions and some cilantro. Now, something happened with my garlic, so maybe that wasn't such a good idea. But I'm going to try it again anyway. I'm only going to get the garlic to sprout first inside. Well, before I put it in the ground. And here we go. My onions aren't doing well. So I supplemented the lighting sun for it. When I turn all the lights back on, it'll be all pink again. And there's my little Venus flytrap. And he's still happy and green. And these are my calla lilies I was so excited about. But this is all they've done so far. And I just had the little air plant sitting there. I tried to uh, make it more, I had to clean this whole area. Plus I didn't organically spray my house for anything. I spray every three months. But I have this little hospital area up here. And I just got those about a month ago actually. But I'm just trying to organize things just a little bit better. But this is what it looks like without those lights on. But I'm going to have to kick them back on. And I'll show you the rest. Okay. If you remember. My cyclamen. 
the ones that came so badly damaged in the mail. Well, one of them is already over here, wintering out. But this is when you stop watering them, when they stop blooming. So as soon as it dies off completely, I'll put them over there. And I still haven't got any pups off of this one, another cyclamen. I'm not sure about my sago palm. I really don't know. I have tried to look inside and I don't see any sign of life at all. <sighs> but on my other bromeliad, uh, pink quail, it's putting off some pups. But remember, they need to be a third of the size of the mama before I take them for them to have a better shot. And this one was my mother's. She got it, I think, for Mother's Day. And this is what ended up happening to it. We don't know what happened to it. But this is really all that's left alive. So, I was giving the rest of it some time to bounce back, but I don't think it's going to. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all this away and let it regrow for her. And uh, maybe next year she'll have a nice pot of flowers. I'm not too sure. But... I killed what was ever wrong with this with the uh, Dr. Zymes Eliminator. Put the recharge on it. Uh, went ahead and put some one shot on it. And this was all I was able to save. So it should be in the hospital area. But we're about to see what my hospital area looks like. So those are all of my cyclamen. Hang on. This plant is so funny. Um, I told you it leans back and forth when it needs something. Well, I didn't realize it needed water. And it kept leaning and leaning, and I turned it around, and then it would turn around and lean the other way. But it just fell over. And I noticed, oh, the poor thing needed water. But, um, wonderful plant. But I had to treat everything. And so far, well, I'll show you the damage. This is my other jalapeno tower. And as you can see, things aren't looking so great in there. This I've worked on for five days, and I finally transplanted these. And um, these other three, I'm not so sure. But this was affected the most. And uh, I haven't seen any of the little creepy crawlers, but I do see something flying around, which gives me concern. And this is just a violet I'm reading. It's the first time my mom and I were able to get out and go sit down and eat somewhere where other people were without masks on um, in two years. We usually have lunch together once a month. So I'm hoping that that will blossom and grow. And this what was left of my poor impatient and it got hit again too. So I'm not so sure about it either. My other jalapeno plant, it got hit but I think I got it taken care of. Now I did take my other two bromeliads. Remember one was Peyton Manning and one was Vaughn Miller. And I combined them. So they seem happier here with the light they have here. They look healthier. And uh, they didn't really get hit. But I put them together. And well, both of my cactuses got hit as well, but I took care of them fast. I noticed just little spots and I started looking at the little spots and oh my goodness I'm glad I noticed the little spots it may have been a lot of work for three days but it's well worth it this is all new growth so he's actually doing pretty well now this is my exciting news because I'm getting my first true leaf on my monstera and this is my plant. Oh, I'm so excited. This plant seems to be happy here under this light. It didn't get back so badly, but I noticed that it started putting on some growth after I started treating it. So hopefully, hopefully nothing. This is one of my prizes. And everything's got to be re-hit with the recharge since I, everything has been sterilized, soil and all. So I have to put something back in to feed the microbes which basically are just little bugs in your soil that are good. And my aloe vera, it had gotten hit too. So, 
I took care of that as well, and it seems to be doing fine. And my hosta, believe it or not, got hit as well. But they seem to be doing fine as well. And the only other plant I have left to show you is my Stella plant, which is next to a box, <laughs> which managed to do well and keep on growing. So, you know, that's pretty much my update right now. Um, I'll do an update if I get more fruit. Um, I'll do an update if I keep having this problem. But the mite I had, it's called a thrip. T-H-R-I-P. It's like the nastiest bug you ever want to get. So you have yourselves a lovely day, and I will as well. And I'll be thrilled to death when my first true leaf comes out and shows me that he's happy to be in his new home. Didn't we name him Alice? I do believe so. So I'll speak with you later. Bye.